Most people in America are looking for, how do I find my faith when life has been hard for me? How do I find my faith when people have abused me? How do I find my family when people of my family have lied, stolen, and cheated me out of life, time, and resources? How do I find my God when God is obviously looking down from above but enabling all of this happening to me? The truth is that God is not enabling anything. It is true that God is powerful and omniscient and omnipotent and has a plan for your life. But when most of America is off track with the Lord Most High and His plan for human life or a human life, what happens to America? We are never anymore God bless America unless we're looking at it from an empathetic score of we have to bless America because people are becoming whores to their core values, which are counterfeit gods. They're counterfeit to God. In other words, they play these games in America that are counterfeit or clockwise is not the right word, but counterclockwise, if you will, to God's timing in every way. That the Lord makes these beautiful plans, these amazing love stories, these incredible romances, and some man decides to step in and interfere with everything that he might commandeer and call queer, but it's not his lawful right to do it. Military men in America have lost their God. Many military missions are failing today because men are not thinking about the Lord in any way. A man at the top can monkey a order from the president because of the information he receives or just his mere opinion from seasoning. And the lie that he's told himself is that his way is better, more strategic when it's not. Shareholders, stockholders, and basically advisors of our president and vice president have a lot of responsibility in every way. But a liar in America thinks he has the right to lie to someone's face, abuse their grace, meaning the grace that God gives them, the house in which they deserve to have. But how did they get that place is a question God only knows today. In America, we have rights. But when a policeman goes into a man's home and steals things from his house, when the man is not home and starts to recreate his own life from that theft, to harm the man who is entitled to them at best, what do we do in America? People say, don't hit the police, don't defund the police, and other actors are saying, let's look at this a little differently, which is marvelous and politically correct and strategically sound. But the truth is that many police officers are abusing people all across America with their technology, their techniques, and their tips that are illegal and immoral uses and abuses of information on you and me. In America we have rights and liars in a police force will snitch and grip and grift information, property and money from a person's pockets, from their backpacks and packages, from their home or their travel cart or whatever it is that they live in to do their art and openly they'll believe that they're moral when before God's house, they have never in their life been more immoral for what they're doing to me or to you. A liar in America is the one that will tell a lie or two. A liar in America is the one that will try to do their lies to harm you. A liar in America will lie to themselves about their rights to abuse you. And a liar in America will play a ping game, a person of interest game, an information gathering game, a solicitation game, a human trafficking game without a thought to America today.